The cell-based CR2032 battery is one of the most commonly used cell-based batteries around the world, and it powers everything from based from watches to LED message boards, from Wi-Fi keychains, LED lights, and mostly a lot of electronics use this battery as a standard in terms of cell batteries. So it's really interesting because CR2032 batteries are not that commonly seen around stores, and even if you can purchase them, they tend to cost a lot if you get them at retail locations like Best Buy or Amazon, and they can be purchased for about $2 per battery, which can get expensive if you have a lot of small pocket electronics over time, because they are, like I say, the um, pocket-based, um, perhaps AA batteries, except for smaller electronic products. That's why we're pretty interested to take a look at this. These are rechargeable uh, CR2032-based batteries, and they come pre-charged, so you can actually use them as um, just like a regular battery by putting them in, but after you're done, they are rechargeable. There are no indication to say that, which is one of the downsides. You might get them confused, but they are rechargeable. And and they say LIR2032, which in indicates that they are lithium ion rechargeable batteries, um, which is something that you need to take note of instead of just CR. And so um, this allows the device to be charged back and forth if you have a compatible charger like we have here. This wall plug can be used in around the world, um, especially here in the States. You do need an adapter, however, so it utilizes the European plug here, but uh, with a adapter plug that you could then utilize and plug into units like we have here, you would then plug it into the top pin that we have and then plug it into the wall in the US and be able to use it. The folding design the folding design makes it pretty easy to take and travel with you on the go in case you have some cell um, devices such as, such as a Wi-Fi detector keychain that runs out of battery pretty fast. So after the device uh, you know, is turned on, you can then quickly use it by putting the batteries into these two compartments to charge them back. And that actually works pretty well. So for example, if we wanted to take a battery out right now from the back of this particular unit, let us go and do that by taking out these two batteries. We can then take these two batteries and then plot them into the centers over here. And you can see a faint LED light being turned on and illuminated, which tells us that the battery actually has a charge uh, for this particular one. And um, that means that, again, we can either you know, plug into the wall or test the batteries themselves and see if they have a charge in them already. And so again, if we put them in here, we see a faint red charge on this one, which means there is a little bit of power. And then we can also plug it into a wall to directly start charging this particular battery. Um, and then plug it into a wall after it's done, it's gonna illuminate green. And then we can plug them off and use them again and again and again. The cell-based rechargeable uh, lithium iron batteries don't last as long as general-based rechargeable batteries do. They can charge about, I would say, a few hundred times before they run out of power, so they're not indestructible, but they do extend the usage of them and reduce your cost, especially over time. And the battery lifespan of these rechargeable ones are pretty much on point with the regular one-time use ones. A little bit shorter, but not that much. And I would say that the kit is definitely you know cheaper if you have a lot of uh, gadgets that use this type of battery. The charger itself uh, is com comes priced about $10, and then the cell-based batteries come at a price of about $3 per piece. So it um, is a pretty good deal, especially if you purchase lots and lots of them to use over and over again. And just remember not to throw them out. Thanks for watching this video first look slash uh, video review of the rechargeable lithium iron CR2032 cell-based batteries here at osmvtxreviews.com.